Alright, there we go. We're ready to go. Hey guys. Uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Alright. I think we're gonna do a little bit of Mother 3. And then, yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I'm probably gonna stream it for about an hour and a half. I don't have a huge amount of time tonight. I do need some rest. Because, you know, long days and stuff, so. You know. We're gonna get to it. Um. Yeah, and that was Mother 3 soundtrack. That was fun naming. Uh, let's play the actual Mother 3 now, why don't we? Uh, yes, I remember that the game was pretty loud, so I'm actually going to test audio this time. You guys were letting me know that, yeah, the game was pretty loud last. Well, I noticed that the game was pretty loud, and I still have to upload that to you, or Twitch, so. Today, I'm going to turn the game down a little bit as we play it. So, you know, that'll probably save your guys' ears, you're welcome. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm a little bit. No, I'm not gonna say sick. It's just. Oh, maybe I'm a little sick still. I'm not sure. All right. Let me just switch this over here. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh uh, yeah. I can definitely tell that it's a little bit loud here. Let's turn that down just a tad, because I want my voice there. I'm gonna turn it a little bit more down on my end. There we go. Yeah, I want myself a little bit louder than the game, obviously. I don't want to, like, lose the game's audio, so hopefully that's a little bit better. Uh, let me know if it's not. Fun. Just one last thing, I gotta go check quick. There we go. All right. Oh, that's the wrong way. We want OBS. I'll put OBS like right about here. It's quickly accessed if I need to. All right. So last time we left off, we're we're doing slavery, guys. I I, I hope you guys missed missed their slavery moment. Um. Yeah. There's a couple parts up ahead that I'm a little frightened of, but you know what? Whatever. We'll we'll deal. All righty. See what everybody says. Hi there. Say, uh, Betsy, I wonder what today's weather is going to be like. This village is much more carefree until just recently. Yeah, tensions are starting to get up a little bit. Have you eaten? Oh, they're all so nice. And yet we're hanging out with Wari over here. Oh god, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me, I gotta get my Wario voice ready. I should get a drink, actually. Hold on. Don't go too fast, you nerds. Come on, gather around! Ah, ah, ah. There we go, sorry. <laughs> I don't know, that was a weird Wario. <laughs> Every Wario is a little weird. What are we, what are we saying? Alright. Come, one and all, fair denizen, denizens of Tasmeli. Congratulations are in order for the hard work you put in every single day. I've come here today to give you all wonderful news about happiness. Blue skies, white clouds, bountiful crops, stout livestock, happy families, and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with so many wondrous things. But there's still something missing. A tiny speck of uncertainty that steers into each bright day. Is this really how things should be? Shouldn't we be living much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. Odd animals have never been seen before now look in our forests. And giant balloon-like objects score, soar our skies. What's going on? What's happening to the world we live in? And that's not all. Not by a long shot. The word on the wind says that th this very near future, lightning powerful enough to burn down forests and woods will rain down on us almost daily. Oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? Uh -huh. 
You thought to yourself, get real, something like that would never happen. But I truly believe this will soon be a reality. Ah. And in times like this, is it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? But I have good news for you. Today is your lucky day. You can attain happiness very easily. Just look here. Even my cute, adorable salsa is dancing so happily. The reason for this, you see, is that this monkey has gotten a head start on obtaining, obtaining happiness. How exactly did little salsa here manage to find happiness? All of those who are interested, please raise your hand boisterly. Who wants to be happy? Okay, little salsa. Go and ask the nice people who want happiness for their names. Please keep your hands raised, folks. All right, we gotta remember these names, so I'm gonna I'm gonna write them down here. Yeah, I think we need to write them down. I don't know if we do, but just in case. All right, first one. I'm Biff. I'm not really sure what this is all about. But if I can get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. I'm Abby. I respect my husband, Abba. There's something, nothing bad about having too much happiness, is there? I'm Isaac. I just want to see if it really is that easy to be happy. My name is Abbott. Abbott? Abby and Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff, it somehow makes me happy. Plus, I'd like to see what happiness looks like, too. Everyone! If even just one of us can achieve happiness, all will be right in the world. For those of you who don't raise your hand, please think it over later. And if you decide that you do want happiness after all, feel free to let me know any time. Well, that's all for today's show. May happiness come to this village. Take care. Now then. Come along, little salsa. Let us return to Yado Inn. Yeah, it's me. What is it? Did you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle. Why can't you just kick them out? What? You can't because they're too tough. All right. I'll be over right over once I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. Alright, monkey, listen up. The happy boxes are hidden in the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names you took earlier. Abbott, Abby, Biff, Isaac. Those four people. Where do they live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. Don't even think about trying to run away. You'll come straight back to this room. If you can't do it under 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more ch than charred if that happens. If you try to run away or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey too. Got it? Yes. Just a reminder. Then get to it already. I'll give you a banana or something, okay? That you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. Oh jeez, so be grateful, yeah. Alright, we gotta hurry. We are on a time limit. Anyway, slavery music. They said they were in the graveyard, so we gotta go hunt them down. Oh, here we go. Thank you. 
Got a heavy box. All right, so we got four people to deliver to. Let's go. And yeah, we can't run. We gotta, we gotta lift them all. And the problem is, I have no idea where anybody lives. So, all right. So we're just gonna have to go through and uh, try to find them. Oh, here's Abbott. Oh, wow, this is a happy box. Haha, <laughs> this is a great happy box. Thanks, monkey. And then we also have to do one more for her, right? Got the happy box. Oh, okay, cool. So we don't have to give her two. That maps in? I think our map's been marked now. Okay, now we know where to go for one of them, yeah. See, so yeah, we gotta go this way. Am I supposed to be going this way? Are we sure, game? Yeah, well, the game has circled this, this house over here, so. Oh, Isaac, yeah. There you go. You have to actually, yeah, you have to actually have to go this way. All right, one, one more to go. All right, let's hurry. Oh, shoot. Oh no, okay. Alright, mouse missed. Uh, I'm a little worried that, yeah, this mouse is gonna hurt. And we may be under leveled. Uh oh, this actually might be trouble. I have heals. Let's do a beef jerky. And that should be enough heals to hopefully finish this fight. There we go. Okay, that was tough. Oof. That was unfortunately tough. Alright, we're good. Let's try not to engage in any more fights. <laughs> Alright, we gotta hurry. Thankfully, Mapson is the god and will help us out, thankfully. Make this a little easier. Alright, here's the last box. Where are we going with this one? We gotta bring this one to I- or no, Biff is our last person we're bringing it to. Oh. Is the, is the last one marked? Yes. Oh, it's all the way, all the way down. Oh boy. Okay, so we gotta go one screen down, one screen right, and then another down. Oh, that's where the training ground is later. Okay, I think I know. All right. Let's keep on going. We're almost there. I remember my first playthrough. I had no idea that you... Oh, here we go. Now I can be happy too. Alright, well, 
we'll give him his happy box. Alright, now we gotta hustle. Now we gotta hustle. Alright. Yeah, I remember last time I never knew that Mavsyn can help you find the people if you're having issues. So, you know, that made that a little bit easier. Alright. Twenty-five minutes. Nope, too bad. Oh well. Hey, yo! How long are you going to stay unconscious, stupid monkey? All right, let's hurry back to hurry to Osho Castle. There we go to the castle, I guess. I have plenty of happiness, just as I am now. So if you have any more for me, then someone else can have mine. These happy boxes of yours really do seem important to have. So much that I wish I could have five or six of my own. But my house is too small and cramped right now that I have to turn you down your offer. You understand what it is, right? Oh, Mr. Salesman. I'm sorry I left during your talk earlier. I remembered something I forgot to do. Isaac is very impressed by how great of a person Mr. Facade is. Oh yes! I get appreciation from dog! Let's do a save, we haven't done a save in a little bit. Alright. Let's head over to the castle. So I haven't actually been watching Twitch again. I, I I always do it every once in a while where I'm like, oh, I'm not good to watch Twitch. Not intentionally, but... Oh, hold on, I'm screwing it up. Oh, no. Our stream manager. There we go. All right, cool. All right, let's go see what the issue is. Don't know who you are, but you best be careful if you're going inside the castle. Some guys dressed like pigs went in and are up to no good. What's going on? Did you find it? What? You still haven't found it? Just who are these other intruders? An old man and a guy with a gloomy feel about him. Wait, you mean him? The guy with the brown hair, gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum? So where are they now? What? They're heading for the top floor! You fools! Whatever you do, do not let them get in there first! Oh. Where are we going? This castle used to be filled with ghosts, but we kicked them all out using the power of science! Other groups are presently in pursuit of the bum-looking guy and his cohorts. We will now continue a search for the item here. Sir, Mr. Facade, sir, the item does not appear to be in this room. Oh, cute robot noises. Alright. I think we have to go to- Oh no, we have to fight Mr. Big Bro. Ah, okay, let's fight him. Oh no, we got the critical. Oh no, it's Big Bro's butt. Again. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about Mr. Big Bro's butt. I'm sorry guys. And he also gave us a nut cookie. Don't don't question. Oh, Mr. Barrel? Mr. Barrel. Let's fight Mr. Barrel. Hello. Oh, we snuck up on the Barrel Man. Oh, combo? Okay, cool. Facade's still doing all the damage right now. Oh no. 
Oh, he just punished me. I woke up, but I took a zap. Wonderful. Barrel man. Ow. Facade, I, I need you to kill. <laughs> I was gonna say, Facade, I need you to kill. Alright, wonderful. I need I need that nut bread, actually, I think. We are kind of weak. Salsa, unfortunately, will stay weak throughout the playthrough, because he's not a main character, so he, he's not much used after this. So I'm not too inclined to level up Salsa too much. Oh, hi, Mr. Big Bros. Oh god, they're all big bros. Thankfully, they avoided us. Oh, we have to head to the top floor? Oh. Oh, we just gotta learn the dances. Okay. Oh, and we have another big bro. And we also snuck up on this one. Thankfully, big bro dies really quickly. <laughs> They're actually free XP, honestly. They're not too bad. I might even like fight one or two more if I have to, but they're running away though, clearly. All right, here we go, we learned the dance, and now we should be able to perform the dance, right? Okay, yeah, I guess I guess we're going ahead, we're getting ahead of ourselves, okay, that's not too bad. All right, so we're a little, we're getting ahead of ourselves, so let's keep going. Or do we wanna head up too, I guess? There's no store here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I want to listen to the robot noise. I love it. <laughs> Alright. Um. Uh, we're actually really close to Christmas. We've got four more days left. Um. I might say that it's... Oh, thank God. <laughs> we're finally getting close to the Christmas over no longer works yeah they crushed all the goats ghost ones three suits of armor suddenly attacked me out of nowhere even though I'm super skilled they clearly had the upper hand I managed to destroy them while I unleashed my special spicy knuckle attack that bum looking guy in his cohorts beat me senseless though <laughs> We're currently using every resource available to help us locate it, but it still hasn't turned up. I'm not talking to you. Uh huh. There's some sassy ghosts here earlier, holding a lively party. We use the power of science to stick them all back in the back room for now. Let's go ahead and upstairs after they beat the snot out of us. Only now do I realize that thieves are truly a force to be reckoned with. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so they're in here? Oh, hi! They're, they all are just, like, here. I found a new interest in the power of science. Never mind that I'm a ghost. They're all just here. And this guy's still cooking. That guy in the corner. Can I see him? I want to see the guy in the corner. Let, let me see him. Yes. Just enough to be burnt is good. Rare is good, too. Just before rotten is the best. Alright, there's a lot of ghosts in here. I'm gonna get, like, stuck on their sprites. <laughs> Alright. I guess we'll follow them, eh? Come up with me. Ah! Dead end! Alright, monkey, let's look elsewhere. Maybe over here? A ghost burped on me just now. For some reason, it smelt like rotten pasta. I don't care about finding this stupid item anymore. The facade's literally right here. Alright, so it's not that way. So maybe it's back down? It's this way? Yeah, maybe this way. Nope. Nor is there anything that can be done. Okay. The game's just saying no. Hmm. Now do we go to the basement? Oh, here we go. Yeah. What? They fled into the basement. They have it with them. All right, got it. Hey, monkey, we're heading into the basement now. There should be an entrance to the basement somewhere inside this castle. Find it. All right, we already know where that is. So let's let's hustle. Cause yeah, this is backtracking now. <laughs> Okay. 
Alrighty, now we gotta avoid the big bros. Oh god, barrel, 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 barrel. Ah! Barrels are scary. Alright, let's do the dance. I've learned the dance, so. Alright, we can go through here. Hey, stupid monkey. Do something to open it. I have to dance. Oh. Do we have to learn it? Again, maybe? Yeah, I've already learned it, haven't I? Okay. Nope. Is there some- is there rice on my face or something? Oh, I'm sorry, Salsa. I'm so sorry, Salsa. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, let's try again. Oh, it was just press the left side. I did it. Oh, well done. All right, here's your reward, Zap. Nice. Nice. Facade. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get going. The door has warned us. All right. A, is that a ghost frog? Ha, huh. I am not a ghost, I'm a frog. Save your game, of course. Heck yeah. Please be careful out there. Got a, oh, another bracelet. All right. Up, defense by two. All right, defense is up by two, cool. Uh, Sans Undertale? <laughs> a cheery skeleton. Oh my God. Oh, this guy's got some health. He doesn't have good attack power though, so we have that advantage with us. He drops a lot of XP too. Oh no, that's a big bro. The, what is that kind of bro? I don't want to fight that kind of bro. Locked from the other side. I don't know if I want to fight that kind of bro. No, okay, we're fighting one. A little big bro. Oh, what is his face? Oh, I, I even remember the stupid face. I don't actually. One sec, hold on. Alright, there you go. Sorry, I just had to do a text quick. Anyway, let's fight this thing. This is this is a ooh, what is what is it? Okay, facade does 50 damage, so he and I do only one, literally. I am literally worthless. All right, um, let's have some nut bread. When he does, yeah, when he does punches, it's not, not too bad. Let's do mon monkey mimic, yeah. There we go. Mimic really helps. Get that good counter. Beef jerky, nice, okay. Uh, so I don't like little big bro. He, uh, I don't like him. <laughs> Let us continue. Beef jerky, okay. Oh no, skeleton's back. Oh, skeleton back. Rattle me bones. Ooh, critical. Still trying to get the 
There we go. Alright, well, Facade took, took care of business. Ah, level 12. Nice. Alright, let's do... Yeah, let's just do another nut bread and just to be healthy, you know? Alright, got more big bros. Or little big bros. Probably have more skeletons. I kind of want that present. Not gonna lie. Oh, he's not stuck. Alright, here we go. Little big bro, too. God, I don't like his face. There you go, nice. All right, we did all right there. Some beef jerky, nice. I'm gonna use another one of those nut breads. Just keep our health, like, super up if we can. Get some beef jerky as well. What's this? Uh-uh, what's this liver for? Hey, pull this lever. Uh, sure. Oh, and that's how the water got poured out. Wah! It's them. They fled into the waterway. What? They escaped with the item. After them. After them, after them, after them, after them. Go after them. Well, no, wait, they're inside. Corner them is what I said. Contact me the instant you find them. There's not a single useful person here. Let's return to the Yano Inn for now. Can we leave this way clearly? Got an ancient banana. Good. All right, yeah, we gotta we gotta take the long route out. Okay. The enemies seem to be stopped, so that's cool. Oh, this ghost frog, ghost frog, please, please. Oh, no, go, no more going back in there for a while. All right, let's keep on going. They don't appear to be inside the castle anymore. Yeah, I know. Facade's guards are. Facade's men aren't really that good. Oh. What are you doing? What of you two? Get out of my way! Hey, uh, you heard Mr. Facade. Fall back! He was looking at you when he said it. You fall back! Shut up! I don't give a damn about any of that. Both of you get out of my way, now! Just look how late it is now. You're so stupid. It's all your fault, you idiot. He was looking at you when he said it. You so you're the idiot, you idiot. I know you are, but what am I? You idiot. Oh jeez, both of you idiots, go find them now! Alright, well... As you see, the pig masks are interesting, aren't they? Let's go back to the auto inn. And we're actually reaching the end of the chapter, funny enough, so we are getting closing in here. And I can stop the warrior voice for a little bit. Because <coughs> it hurts. That just doesn't hurt that bad, but you know. Besides, I bet you were the one who let Duster get away in the first place. done no such thing, nor would I have any need to. Oh, hey, Facade. My goodness! I simply can't believe that someone would steal the money I so humbly gave you. Perhaps it's true, then. Perhaps this village is really starting to become cursed. We can't allow Tasmili Village to become a dismissal hive for evildoers that run amok. 
we must all seek happiness. And garlic and wario. Or this village will be in grave danger. Oh, what's this? Are you fond of the nice lady there? Come now. I'll give you lots and lots of luxury bananas later, so let us return to the Yado Inn. Okay, little salsa? That's not very banana like. Kumatora knows that the bit monkey's in trouble. Hey, stupid monkey! It seems that you still don't understand the situation you're in. If you ever disobey me or try any funny business in the slightest, I'll make sure your beloved girly monkey winds up in some serious trouble. Remember that! Now go to sleep! Salsa, no. Thankfully. Hey. Hey, monkey. Hey, monkey, we're here to rescue you. That cheap bastard's asleep. Hurry here. We've been rescued for now. You're safe now. Don't know how you got involved with that lie spewing fraud. Must have had your reasons, I guess. Poor little thing. Princess, this is a great deed you've done. Now let's go find that lazy mor I mean Duster, and the egg that he has with him. I know he's alright. Morons like him never get got get sick or hurt, no matter where they go or what they do. Yeah, just gotta find Duster and the egg. But first, let's free this monkey. Geezer, go steal that zapper gizmo while the lion freak still sleep. Oh, right. Should have swiped it earlier. I'll be right back. You'll be free in a minute, monkey. You must have had it rough. Hey, monkey, I stole the doohickey. Actually, they bumped it on the way back. Did it zap you? Sorry about that. Here, monkey, you destroy it. Alright, monkey, you can go wherever you want now. You're free. You got something keeping you from running away. What is it? Girlfriend's been kidnapped. Or monkey napped, I should say. Damn, that cheap. He screwed up. Oh, did you call for me? I happen to be that screwed up cheap bastard you speak of. I think I would get to meet you of all places, Princess Kumatora. <laughs> stupid monkey, did you think you could get away from me? He can, and we're gonna let him. Geezer monkey, you ready? One, two, three. This is when we run. Got it? Yeah, I think they've already ran. Damn, they're fast. After them, don't let them escape. Gonna have a drink quick. They're heading your way. One sec, just still taking a drink, hold on. I see. Then remain there on standby. I'll be there shortly. No escape from me. <laughs> the 
Let's escape into the forest. Alright, yeah. Kumatora joined our party. Wonderful. And West joined our party. Alright, we better run. Okay, we gotta take our time, cause yeah, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get pretty banged up here. And now we have to fight full on pig masks. Thankfully, Kumatora still has her freeze, her PSI, so it's not like we're going into bad territory. And we do have a spring on the way, we just need to really do a little bit of soft grinding. Probably not actually, I don't know. We'll do a little bit of soft grinding because Kumatora is here. And now we got sentry bots. Maybe we'll do mimic. Okay, cool. Freeze does when it hit them. Sounding an alarm, nobody came. Okay. And we got a spring coming up, so we can use PSI pretty willy-nilly right now. Cool. Alright. We're in 130. Hope everybody's doing okay. Kumatora is 15. Yeah, Kumatora actually matters, so... Let's go to the springs quick. It's... It's bath time. It's bath time. Perfect. All right. All right. Yeah, we gotta head north. Oh, okay. The the, the bot's back. Okay, we we're only we're only fighting one of them. Yeah, Kumatora just needs to murder. <laughs> There we go. Nice dodge. Oh no. I think I know what's coming up, so let's just... Everybody's healed, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, let's do it. She started to feel feverish. Okay, she's got some PSI, so let's wait for a bit. Wander around down here and just kind of wait for the her to get it through. <coughs> Excuse me. We just want to want her to get her PSI new move here. We're just gonna walk around and waste some time here. Offensive down. That's decent. Alright, let's keep moving. If I remember correctly, we're gonna have to fight a tank coming up, so. Oh god. No luck here either. Is there only chance to back now? Not bread. Oh, great. We're surrounded. Alright. Time to find a tank. Fight a flippin' pork tank. I'll do Mimic. And... Freeze? also fired his cannon. Moki just got his mouth formed into a cannon. 
<laughs> Alright, let's try something else. Let's try Thunder. Thunder seems to be the work one. Okay, yeah, Thunder's the way to go. Let's try and see if Salsa will mimic again. Let's keep going for Thunder. Yeah, Thunder's the way to go. Oh no. Salsa couldn't stop. Oh no, Kumator couldn't stop crying. Okay, so... Thankfully, with, even with crying, PSI still works, so I'm not too worried. Nice. Let's heal. Let's heal Kumatora, keep her up. Uh, she uses Thunder again. Salsa should do a heal too. I'm gonna make sure he stays up. Another thunder. We're already crying, we don't care. <laughs> Alright. wrecked. The tank's wrecked, but it still has its cannon, but it jammed. Alright. Oh, he's just, he's just throwing the cannonballs now. Let's do another a beef jerky on Kumatora. And Kumatora, go for thunder again. Still doing okay, speeding up black smoke. Uh, let's keep Salsa ready for Mimic. And let's do another Thunder. But it jammed, okay. So whenever he tries to fire, it doesn't work. And then I think his next turn, he'll just throw a cannonball instead. Nice, there we go, that wasn't too bad. Alright, there you go. Alright, cool. And with only 6 PP to spare, Salsa is now 14. Kumatora is now 16. Perfect. Yeah, she's who matters. Alright, well, we beat a tank. Uh oh. We got more? Yeah, facade's back. Oh, they got another tank. Now then, Princess Kumatora, may I ask you, may I ask what, that you behave and do as we say? Oh, hey, Lucas. Who are you? Get out of here, you stupid kid. Stupid kid. Oh, it's a little baby Drago. Oh, my pork. What is a baby Drago doing here? Yo, baby Drago, get out of here. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Mommy's very angry. Yo, Drago! Mommy's home! Luca's coming in with the save! Oh, jeez! Get out of here! B 
beat Facade. <laughs> and the tank is even, the tank's out of the way. They're like, nope. Hey, get back here, yo. No, no, stop. No, stop, please, don't. Haha, <laughs> feeling better now, monkey? Oh god. Ah! <laughs> oh, the Dragos are cute. Lucas, I heard that you've done nothing but cry since the day your mother passed away. But what you did there was now was wonderful. You saved our lives. Thank you, Lucas. All oh, right, gotta say hi. Nice to meet you, and thanks. Didn't even know what was going on, but you saved our lives. Probably just a little late for it now, but you should ask this geezer about what's going on. Sure, I can feel it. Fill you in on everything. Will you listen, Lucas? Of course. Yes. Well, it goes like this. And that's everything that's happened. No, Lucas. You stay here in Tasmili. I'm certain Claus will come back sooner or later. I'd like you and Flint and the others to work together to protect our village. I intend to help, too, of course, what little I can, at least. Princess, I leave the monkey in your hands. And the search for that moron, too. Lucas. Don't know why, but I somehow get the feeling I'll be seeing you again. Take care of yourself. Okay, monkey. Let's go. Tasmania Village is now transforming exactly how the newly come peddler had planned. Only a handful of villagers realize that things were that were good and right are being tossed away one after the other. Although prosperity is increasing, an eerie darkness seems to be growing heavier over the village at the same time. However, within that darkness, a frail young boy grows ever stronger. Soon Lucas will repaint this tale of sadness with a bright new color. The deeper the darkness, the brighter the sunrise at dawn. The once coddled Lucas is now on his way to becoming a brilliant young son. Yeah, here we go. We're starting. We're getting into the main character now. Lucas is here. Alright, that was the end of chapter 3, Hop. Hello, I'm Mufrog. Shall I record everything that has happened so far? Yes. Alright. Oh, hey, Claus. Are we on memory lane now? Oh, poor Lucas. <laughs> Troubled by nothing but grief. Now he's got a soldier on on his own. And then he was a badass and brought a dinosaur to kill some pigs. It was really cool. for yourself. Uh, yeah. And he visits his mom once again.
Club Titty Boo. Anyway, chapter four. What is this? Is that a train? Three years later, Tasmili Village. It has turned into a utopia, basically. It's a city. Hello, everybody. The shoes and a scrapbook from Honawa's dress are stored in here with care. Machine for spinning wool. Yeah, we're finally playing as Lucas for real, so that's always nice. done what have I done oh no we're, we're still having mom oh no we're, we're giving Lucas flashbacks I'm sorry Lucas I miss I miss mother too oh no I miss mother too I'm sorry Lucas all right we're changed oh oh geez Lightning is scary. Oh, hey, Boney. Woof, woof. I can take you for a walk if you'd like, Lucas. Yes, come on, Boney. Boney joined our party. Good. We need our dog. I got charred black. Wild animals are afraid of lightning, but livestock are actually pretty okay with it. Oh, jeez. God, I love the music. Hey, you there, boy. It might take a bit of a bother, but please come talk to me. I have very important information for you. Come on, Mr. Frog. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. You'll be getting units called DP, Dragon Power. You can use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. It seems you already earned 30 DP so far. You can save and withdraw DP anytime by talking by to nearby frogs. Some frogs in special location can conduct transactions, though. Nope. Good. Let's try it out. Time certainly flies, doesn't it? You need something? Our pants traps are, yeah. So yeah, we can now we can now take money. You're holding out on saving, but I hope you're not holding out on using the bathroom too. So this is Taz Millie's famous lightning house. It really is incredible. If they were coming here to see. You must really love being unhappy if you're still refused to get a happy box after all this. The simple atmosphere, the old smell the smell of livestock and sea breezes. They haven't changed a bit in the past three years. Yeah, there's roads now. Our poor village is not really you know. There's people in it. The Auto Inn has so much more warmth and friendliness up to three until three years ago. Hey, what happened to Yado? Oh no. Welcome. You're not saying guest, yes? Our Yado Inn has changed so much, gained so many new customers ever since Mr. Rasad came to town. They say this village had no happy boxes until three years ago. This hotel's poster girl is so cute. I wonder what her name is. Why 
Why don't you? Why did you come in here? What was your reason? Because I was enamoring, so you could flirt with me. Because you like me, other. Which one is it? Uh, four. <laughs> There's a happy box. Oh, look at this cool dude. I'm in a luxury hotel, but surprisingly enough, I'm not acting nervous, have you noticed? It's because my back pocket's filled with money I earned at the factory. You want? What do you want for lunch? Is anything but that pasta. Crochet rolls are fine with me. No, actually, that's what I prefer. Whisper, whisper. But should we keep going until we find a good place to stop? They don't like pasta, I'd hate them. I'm about to go on a walk with my grandkid to Colorian Beach. It'll be like, old man on the beach and all that. Ho ho ho. Grandpa and I are supposed to go to the beach after I change, but after... Ugh. But I can't take my eyes off this happy box. I guess it's their grandpa. That's nothing sketchy. Alright. There's pig masks here. Can I get that box? Yeah. Trivia card one. Is that an item? A card with an obscure trivia question on it. Use try using it on human enemies. Okay. You're the type that just has to talk to everyone, aren't you? Yeah. No, no, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I think it's actually a very important thing to do. I hear they used to raise cows and pigs where the training facility to the southeast is now. Mr. Vassar has bought it all the land there. And another happy box. They're everywhere. Alright, let's go check out. Did you... Did you think so much beauty would blossom up in only three years? Huh? What? What am I talking to myself? Oh, of course not. I'm talking about Tasmillion. My dad is working over the factory, so he left me in charge of the store. Would you like to buy something? We have no money enough for any of this. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to keep that in mind. We need some DP. Oh jeez, is that like a wood carpenter thing? Oven for turning red, iron red hot. This is the very latest automated mile mo model. Blah. So this is like a blacksmith now. Is that a TV? I think there's a big problem there. And a happy box. Wow. Thomas shop offering fascinating big city items faster and in greater quantities than anyone else. Things are different now. Don't forget to bring DP. Here he is. He's ignoring you. Whenever I listen to Facade talk, I suddenly want everything. It's almost like he's a magician. Yeah. Oh, Lucas, hi. Oh, hello there, Lucas. You look a bit down in the dumps. A happy box can really change your life, you know. <gasps> frog car, frog car, frog car. Yo, it's frog car. We'll give my regards to the next frog. Look at him. Look at him, guys. He's he's wonderful. Look at him. Lightning struck Reg Reggie's tent. Well, that's what he gets for not having a happy box. I'm probably next on that, too. Our humble little shop, Carlin's Bakery, has also adopted the wonderful new DP system. Oh, Lucas, welcome. Fuel's been helping out around the store lately. He's a real lifesaver. Here to buy something? What can I get you? So yeah, now we gotta buy stuff from her too. I can buy a whole bread roll. I can buy a nut bread too. I, I don't know. You know what? We'll buy one nut bread. Why not? Hey. I love helping people out. Potato like men are my type. Okay. And the happy box. Jesus hell, there's so many of them. Reggie's tents. Reggie's tent. Oh, God. What happened? The village sure has a lot of lightning lately. 
Pay attention now, let this be a lesson. Punishment falls upon the homes of all bad guys. Out of the way, out of the way. God, you're annoying. Shoo, kid, shoo, get. The lightning used to be Reggie's, Reggie's friend, but now the lightning is bad for Reggie. Oh, jeez. It's been blasted apart by lightning. Oh, jeez. Wanted. My generation. It appears to be an old concert poster by someone, but who? Please don't stare directly at me. It might make me want to arrest you. This village used to have no policemen at all? You gotta be kidding me. Some moron by the name of Flint busted the lock on this door. So now I have to stand here like this to hold it shut. It looks like I've been arrested, but I actually came here on my own. I don't care what anyone says, I'm not coming out. I got busted for larceny when all I did was pick up a doorknob I found on the ground. This isn't fair. Where's the doorknob now? How should I know? Maybe it was sent to the forensics lab or something. Alright. We also have the beach here, which is kind of cool. Ooh, reggae theme rhythm. I love it. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> a dolphin. Whatever that is. What's that do? An ear bone. Okay. Can I sell that maybe? Is that how I can make some money? Maybe that's how I make some money, is I can just sell those. Oh, so they made themselves like a huge, like, beach. Notice, beware of snakes. Please refrain from practicing comedy routines in this area. Greetings, lumber people. Beware of snakes. There's a safe frog there. That woman over there, she keeps looking this way. I wonder if she likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Where's this woman you speak of? Let's, let's take a look. You're not the woman. This suit-shaped swimsuit's pretty sweet, huh? Oh, jeez. The man over there, he keeps looking this way. I wonder if he likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Star across. Is it just a pig? Why not I just lie here like this? I can forget all the bad things in life. No drinking, no swimming. No swimming, no drinking. And swimming while hallucinating is absolutely out of the question. A pig mask shoes. Everything's all modernized. Oh, Lucas, do you still not have a heavy box at home? Out oh, taking your dog for a walk? You must really think you're someone special. Seriously, you don't even work. Even kids are working at the factory nowadays, you know? I think we're going to be going to this factory. Yeah, there's their stupid happy box. something across the sea. Do you ever wonder about such things? Please call me anytime. Would probably be best if you didn't talk to me. Got that? Okay. Take care and bye. What if I say no? Are you really sure? Everybody hates me, you know. They all say I talk too much and never shut up. Are you sure you don't want to turn back now? Don't turn back. Do you know what a trumpet is? I was actually thinking about learning how to play the trumpet, but I didn't. I was bad at it and everything. That's how it was to be. You know what Destiny is? Oh god, here we go. Just let her do her thing. Oh god. Just, 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 oh, okay, we're just gonna, just, we got this. Don't worry, guys. 
So anyway, oh. <sighs> you should have turned back when you had the chance. Is that fucking... Is that the same model as, uh, what's her name? From Earthbound. Oh, what's her name? What was her name? God, what is her name? It, it hurts me because I know that... I'll see it and I'll be upset because I'll be like, oh yeah. Earthbound characters. Here we go. I start. I thought it starts with a V. Venus. There we go. Looks like Venus's model. Amore, that's love. Love, that's amore. Nice scenery. How about some nice love? Please call me anytime. Uh, Alright, let's keep on going. Oh, we haven't been here. Who's this lad? It's fucking Picky's model. <laughs> In the old days, we sent letters by pigeon. And now look how we do things. Alright, let's see if you're... Oh yeah, he's got a happy box. Alright, bye bye Don't like him. Seashell. Let's see if those sell for anything, eh? They sell for five each. Okay. Not seriously super good, but eh. I got my DP back at least. I mean, I guess if you pick up so many seashells, I mean, if we do that. <laughs> oh, Mapson. You need some map loving and map owning Mapson. It must be a map, yeah. Old man West is is definitely going to go bald. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Bald, definitely. This guy. Is there any? one here who puts money in this thing because I just did anyway please put it in here for your trustworthy mayor pusher all right let's see this mayor pusher guy oh Lucas your house certainly enjoys being struck by lightning I must say you do you still intend to live in it after all the fires and scorching and whatnot I must admit it's a really downer on Tasmania village's image Oh, yes, yes, your maternal grandfather has moved into the new and shiny retirement home. Across the way, that away. Alright. Oh, hello, Lucas. Don't bother Mr. Facade and the others too much now. Oh, hello. If you excuse me, hurry, hurry, haste, haste. And they got a, they got a happy box. I don't like them anyway. Busy, so busy. Oh, jeez. All right, let's move this way. I guess we should go see him, eh? Keep getting hit by lightning. Somebody find out that I peed on that happy box or something? Okay. Time really flies. It's almost been half a year since old Scamp passed away. I get the feeling it's rare for Scamps like him to be easily forgotten. In that sense, he's a great Scamp. Oh, hello, Mr. Bird. I'm not stuffed. I'm alive. I'm plenty alive, dang nabbit. I didn't see a happy box in this one, actually. Oh, is this guy actually, like, safe? Has he not been corrupted? 
I don't think this guy has a happy box. Huh. All right. Head on this way. This is our training facility. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? Blah, blah. I ain't slacking off. I just collapsed from sunstroke. Alright, well, we're not talking to him because he's clearly happy. What's your guy's problem? You look like you're trying to screw up our formation or something. Oh, you guys want to join our army too? Then you gotta go and eat lots and lots until you're nice and big first. How should I put this? Saying things is a tad bit really special. It's the reason I do not force it out loud. But I'm just force this to say what I want to say. I would say, get out of the damn way. Yeah, they just they just train in this field. Oh, there's the tanks. Dangerous. All right. Tasmanian training facility. All right. Oh jeez. Special nursing home for senior citizens, old man's paradise. Oh, hello, Lucas. And Boney, too. Your grandfather's upstairs in the room to the far left. I'm here visiting my grandma. We play games like Pin the Tail in the Leak and go Hide and Go Sweep or the ho Hokey Pokey. Having your grandchildren visit is a true cause for happiness. They're okay living in this? Jeez. I haven't seen Flint at all lately. How is he? They're fuck. They're literal prison cells. Oh, Lucas, did you come all the way to see me? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what I figured. Yeah. He gave a sad look. Okay, it'll be nice to him. Oh, okay, I was feeling lonely since my grandkids never come to visit me. If they're nice enough to come on by, I give you a little spending money. Not much, but here you go. Keep it a secret from my grandkids, though. Oh, right, give me 50 DP. I can't keep burdening Lisa forever. I do have a happy box, and nice body girls like Nan and Linda here keep me company. So I'm pretty happy in my own way. Yeah. Sorry, Mike, but that's called sexual harassment these days. Oh my god. Oh god. This is sexual harassment. This is a hard world we live in now. How disappointing. Well, he gave me spending money, so <laughs> this is called sexual harassment. Oh, hey, Wes. You actually let yourself be in here? It's a fancy shirt you have. The facade guy has screwed everything up in every way possible. What is he trying to do to this village? Why are you allowing this in here? You should destroy this, Wes. But this is still a prison, though. Oh, here's Alec. Oh, Lucas, how have you been? Lightning hit my mountain cabin a million times, making it impossible to live in anymore. I know it's hard to imagine the lightning trying to hit my house specifically. Come on, mil one million times? Oh, God. Ribbit, ribbit. Shave your game, shunny! Oh, I love this frog. This is my favorite frog. Don't you worry one bit. I may look old, but I sh I'm still good at shaving as ever. Oh, I fucking love frogs. I hate this place. And I think they, we need to break these people out. But, uh, can't really do nothing about that right now, sadly. I have not been paying attention to Twitch again. Somebody's probably, like, chatted. And I've just kind of, like, ignored them. I'm gonna be really sorry. It doesn't look like it, thank goodness. <laughs> Alright. So we got a little spending money, which is good. Uh... There's a cool frog car. You're Lucas, right? I've heard rumors that you're crybaby. You don't look like it to me, though. Thank God. I'm a police officer. Yeah! Going to Club Titty Boo to go check out a DMC, DCMC concert. Oh, God. 
Wish work would end already. Remember that really tall guy that used to hang around Cross Road? What the? What was his name again? Beanstalk? He's actually so tall he didn't stand out or seem out of place at all. Haven't seen him lately though. Read it? Sure. Remodel the old ruins of Oshawa Castle and turn it into a Tasmili Resort Facility. Anonymous. If you want to ride the train, go to the station. If you ride the train, if you go to the station. The train speeds along. Along speeds the train. Let's go, go, go to the factory on the train. Is the lightning helping us? Thanks to the lightning, all the dirty old houses are being cleaned away. So in a way, the lightning is helping all of us. That's what I think. Happy boxes are the greatest. Now to de develop even more screens. Even bigger screens. I want to be a pigmas too. How can I be one? I know I can be a Goa. Please let me be a pig mask. Also, I thought pasta was good. Well, bye. Fried pork kid. Our day's work. There's only one thing to do. Spend every last DP you own at Club Titty Boot. Club Titty Boot is a paradise of music and other stuff, too. Come see the DCMC in concert, live. I have sand in my shoes, and I don't know what to do. Somebody do something. Why not consider working at the retirement home? Veterans of life are waiting for your kindness. But please stop quitting one after the other. <laughs> Who in the world is Let Letter? Try as hard as you might, I can't seem to remember anything about him. It's keeping me up at night. Mike. We've been slowly running out of friends like at the castle lately. People Tasmili, please pass away at a faster pace if you would be so kind. Thanks. Anonymous ghost. Notice. Scamp has died. That is all. S select cheerful. Select cheerful police officers wanted. Start a new career as an officer of the Tasmili Police Force. Do well, and you could even make some pig mass friends. Watch out for chimeras. Strange animals known as the chimeras seem to be increasing in number lately. They are dangerous. Be careful of them. Show courtesy to Mr. Facade. There are many ignorant people who complain about him. I think there's a very thing, bad thing to do. Tasmili is nothing without Mr. Facade. Please take this to heart. Tidibu News. The debut of a new song soon? Desperado. Reckless. Crash. Powerful. Mambo, yeah. No one can stop the DCMC's momentum now. Alright, there we go. That's it. That's it. We also have this guy now. He shows up every once in a while. Hey there, I'm the friendly item deposit guy. If you have anything you don't need to want to carry around, I'll gladly hold it for free. Yeah. Re way better than Escargo is. Yeah, way better than Escargo. We truly have grown. Oh, we got this here. Bread roll, nice. There's a blue mobile house over there. An interesting one that looks like he was made of whatever was handy at the time. Do you see it there? Yeah. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. He doesn't charge any money. Yeah. It's funny that they actually left, the, you know, the ruins here. There's simply been far too much lightning lately. This lightning somehow doesn't seem natural. That said, I can't imagine being such a thing as artificial lightning. I don't know. <laughs> That's me, sorry about that. Cool. Yeah, they kept the temple here for no reason. Oh, a kid from the village. You're so kind and unsophisticated. Yeah, we got the train here. We probably can't afford the train. We're really poor. <laughs> Come on now, Jackie. Get real. It can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's seen him. No hide, no hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. 
Oh, I'm on now. That's nonsense. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Oh, it's nothing. There's this concert hall named Club Titty Boo past the factory. And the bass player there looks kind of like Duster. Jackie here is convinced he's Duster. But he looks just like him. I really think we should tell old man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure, we'd only, we'd only end up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. The guy we saw happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. Anyway, time to head home and have some chow while I watch the happy blocks. Took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving too. I'll see you, Lucas. Tell Flint I said hi. The train will be coming for a while. I only heard the rumors, but are you the ones who stock up on food and then walk around without ever eating it? Really need to eat. You're still young. All right, so we can't take the train, so we t we actually have to walk. <laughs> and I don't feel like walking that just yet. Sprinting bomb, nice. But before we go out, I think this is actually where we're gonna are gonna end it. So I'm gonna actually go find a frog. Facade! Stop it! Quit ruining this town any more than you already have. There's something not right about all this lightning, especially today's. I think you guys are behind it somehow. Leave this instant. Keep your grubby hands out of this town affairs. Why, hello there, Mr. West. You know, if you keep making the veins on your forehead pop out like that, happiness will only escape you. By which I mean your hair, in this case. In any case, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Well, it's been fun. Please be careful not to trip, get hurt, or go bald on your way home. Cease this violence. I'm no bug, I'm an old man. Oh, jeez. Lucas, quit snooping around me. Don't get in my way. Lucas, I really wish you would put a happy box in your home already. So we could be happy, just like everyone else here. I'm always hoping for that day. Oh, gross. We're gonna save our game. Facade. Yeah. Alright. So next episode, whenever we do, uh, we will go into the tunnel and we will head our way to Club Titty Boo and the factory. Those are our two next locations. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for tonight, and I will see you guys some other time. Peace out.